First of four, it will be up to the Tulsa County District Attorney to determine if any charges will be filed against a homeowner who police say shot and killed the man this week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tatum Gwynn. And I'm Jonathan Cooper. Tulsa police say Timothy Crossley charged at the homeowner after he found Crossley vandalizing his AC unit Tuesday night. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter talked to prosecutors today and explains how the law works. Reagan? Tatum and Jonathan, Oklahoma stand your ground law is very clear. It says if someone has entered or is in the process of entering your home, you can use deadly force. But there's a gray area when it comes to property. The Tulsa police say they found Timothy Crossley in the homeowner's yard with a gunshot wound. The homeowner told police he confronted Crossley for vandalizing the AC unit on his property. He told police Crossley charged at him and yelled at Crossley to stop. But when he didn't, the homeowner shot him. Prosecutors say stand your ground law gives added protection to people in their homes, in their cars, play, place of business, or place of worship. They say the law doesn't apply to protecting your property, but self-defense still may apply. Each one of these cases is a case-by-case -case basis. So when you're, the statutes do not specifically address someone who's maybe messing on your property. Uh, and so that's why it's very important for citizens to know how far their rights go so that they don't run afoul of the law. Tulsa police say the homeowner was questioned and released after the shooting. The DA's office says this specific case is still under investigation. Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.